How's it guys? Craig here, and welcome to another video. And this is the guide to the K treasure maps that came out today with Reset. First of all, go see him and purchase them. It's quite expensive, it's probably going to cost you about 20 25,000 glimmer. But get them from Cade and then go to Nessus, which is where you need to be to try and find these crates. So you can see here, the first place we are going to go to is Exodus Black. We'll spawn there. And the first one is a little bit tricky to find. You can see the marks on the map with the Cade symbol. But all you need to do is go to where this is. You recognize it from one of the story missions. And then jump down. You'll see this little cave here, you'll know it's the right one because it's purple. And when you turn right down here, you'll see that there's a Stargate type thing there. I'm surprised MGM would let them get away with that, but hey ho. <laughs> I turned back thinking it wasn't the right place, but it, it actually is. So I'll just wait for the video to catch up with itself. And then you can see here, let's go around the corner and boom, the first chest. When you come out of that cave, you're going to want to uh, tag the wall, so just keep right, you'll get to this crate, jump up. As I'm useless at jumping, as some of my clan will tell you. You need to jump over that crate and keep going round. And boom, that's the second chest. Next, you need to go to Arcadian Valley. So, if you go to Artifacts Edge and spawn there and head east. You can see here, I'm just double checking where I need to go. Classic me so I didn't realise that that tunnel was there, I was going to jump down and then the tunnel here, but hey ho. So you tag the wall going east, you can see there that I'm heading the right way. Keep checking the map because obviously you can't checkpoint these areas. Now, miss the first hole here, I thought originally that it was in there, but it's not. Go past there, and you'll see a slightly smaller one here, and this is the next chest. Now the final one's at the spawn at the bottom, so it's second to final one. So when you spawn there, again head east, so let's go around the corner and you'll see this shiny ball thing here. Just jump inside and this is chest number four. Now we're on to the final one. This is the hardest one really. You need to spawn at Watcher's Grave. take the sparrow around to the site. There's a public event near it, so the best thing to do is to tag the public event and then follow the map until you get there. But when you get there you're looking for a small tunnel that you need to go into. So really you need to go past the public event see this hill go up the hill yeah, I was getting a little bit lost here as per the norm with me then you just gotta climb up over here fall down and you'll know it's the right place with the orange marker 
so that's about it for this video i do hope you've enjoyed it if it's you found it useful please do like and sub and i shall see you all in the next one i've been Casey. weapons free <laughs>